Hey everybody, Metal Gamer Geek here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Above Snakes. Oh, 82%? We're almost... Oh man, we're almost done. It makes sense. We found out Mama Dukes is uh, no longer with us. Thankfully, she did become a lost soul. And we've basically built out Corpse Creek. So... Like, what else would there be to do, I guess, right? Except, like, these little side quests. There's, there's still fragments I have to get. Like, two of... I have two of those fragments. The mysterious fragments, I guess they're called. Uh, game? There we go. I always worry when it... Everything just locks up and the sound goes away. <laughs> okay. Okay. Kill Grace McCall. That's the only thing we have left to do? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What else is on? Yep, that's it. I gotta go kill me a, 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 a person. Hold on. I th thought we were placing things down last time. Let me check this out. Yes, I have to put down the mayor's mansion. That's what it was. Okay, so let's put down the mayor's mansion behind, uh, maybe at this part of town. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're going to go uh, get us a bounty. See how this whole thing works. Plant that. So they're over by... I guess Cachetta Village would be the closest one, right? Let's do it. Nay. Saddle the horse. Let's go to Cachetta Village. It's the only place we haven't fast traveled to yet. I have bullets, right? B bullets? Yeah, I got 12. I'm not wearing my heavy pelt armor. Never mind, we have to go back. That would have been disastrous. Well, we just wasted some carrots. Where do I have it? I think I have it in this equipment box. Okay, let's take that. Put this stuff. What else goes here? Rocks. Let's put stuff back. I know I think I was bringing this stuff for adventures later, but I forgot what those were. That was that was not too long ago. Horse hair. Oh, I need to make horse hair armor or something. Would that be? Would that be here? At the tannery. Yes. One leather armor. So three leather, three luxury fabric. Three leather, three luxury fabric. We need five leather and five luxury fabric to make this. So five leather. One horse hair, three cotton, one inks, and then... The leather is not the part, is the hard part. It's this, the horse hair. I got two. How much cotton do I have? Let's take the whole stack. And to make ink, we need that, and we need berries. Which... Got bushes out here. I figure if we're gonna go fight that lady, why not have... Well, I guess we'll do the boots if we can. Because that pelt armor is for the chest. So if I were to wear my pelt armor, right? I have to check out about sturdy leather boots. So two luxury fabric. Gotta make two inks. I need more huckleberries. So, 
just to make sure we have all that we need. Also, we're going to place this down over here. Yes, I also want to check out what happened with that mining thing. Alright, so let's try this again. Uh, yeah, we're going to make... Also, we have shelter perks. Damage from rifles increased. Let's go with that. Because I already have a melee buff, I think, right? Yeah, melee damage already increased by three, so that's good. Uh, workbench. Make two of you. Tannery. Two of you. Now I need two leathers. Done. And then... I can make... Oh, I need leather strips. I make. I need th three leather strips for this. I don't know guns. I can make gunslingers boots. Yeah, I need leather boots. So I need one more hide done. No, we have it. Okay, so yeah, this, and I need a flint. We're at the part of the game where everything is intricate with the crafting. Oh, leather boots. And I need two more leather. Wait a minute. I have a shelter perk. Each piece of leather, two are created. Okay, so then I only need to make this once. Nice. Yeah, so luxury, fabric, leather, and leather boots. So now I've got a pair of gunslinger boots. This guy. Dirty leather. Okay. And then for the next bit of armor, it would be to replace this one. So. Did I ever make this? Wait a second. Hold on a second. I did because I had to make that at one point. So yeah, I need I need this three leather one rope. Yeah, so let's take care of that. Three leather, one rope. Two hemp, two plant fibers. This whole day is just me trying to figure this out. Or leather. This from now on instead of the enhanced thing. Now we have better armor. So this one we're in the ice. The other one I have to get more horse hair. Okay. I'm gonna pull all of these. No, don't sew. Don't sew.
What do we think we'll need? We'll probably need more cotton than anything else. No, don't snow. We're going to need some of the berries. Cotton. Let's see what do we have in here? More berries. What do we have in here cotton wise? It's all of our cotton, just three. That is not good. We have the fabric made though, so we're good there. We actually have leather and fabric, so I don't need to worry about any of that stuff. Because to make the fancy one, no, I need the cotton for this. So yeah, let's plant it. Because the next one needs three, so I need nine in total. So let's plant some cotton. I thought I didn't plant it in a straight row like I wanted to. Plant our berries. There's three. Six. And I think I'm just going to plant more sage. I should also remember the last selection you made. Okay. Grab some water. Put everything back. So put this and the jalapeno. We have so many jalapenos. Uh, I believe that's everything we need. Yeah, take a sleep. Take a sleep. I don't want. Why don't I say it like that? Take a sleep, dude. Go to bed. Go to bed. I don't have any meat. I didn't want to drink that. Well, we made a mistake. Everything is a disaster. All right, so now we're going off to fight. Uh, the gang, we'll just take, we'll just walk there. Because what did it save us this much? Keep on keeping on. 44. I disagree. We'll take your your body though. Your 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 meat. So now going into this fight with less is always the best idea. Where are they? They're this one. Get the gun ready. Two bullets. Let's go. 
take your monies. There she is, I think. Or is it this one? Nice. Am I skinning and gutting them? No, I... Oh, I shot a penguin by accident. Alright, so that's not too bad with the bounties. We could totally clear out the bounty board. Ooh, horsehair. We need that. Wish I had a rare key, though. Also wish we could fight more polar bears. I think I have to place more of these ice tiles down. Put down fish there. Would it um, summon a polar bear? All these rocks. So we're going over here. random irons I could find. Skin and gut. We don't want to loot. Our sanity's fine. How did I hit you for that much and it be a critical and you didn't die? Are they scaling up? Did a bounty. Equipment. There we go. So. The bounty board we collect. Does it matter what bounty board we collect it at? Or. No. Because there's one at the. There's one at. The trade outpost, and then there's one in Corpse Creek. Which we can just dip in there real quick and see what's going on. Yep, let's just dip in there real quick. Corpse Creek real quick. Bounty Hunter. Done. Give me my rewards. Oh. Mr. Hmm. Jones. Hey, you. I'm glad you're back in Corpse Creek. I actually found us some more posters. 
Yeah, that's the reputation thing. Oh, so you gotta do like that. Okay. Let's take a three star. I'm guessing that is a, another tile I have to put down, right? Complete your first most wanted contract. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Let's go back home. Put that down. Put that down. Harvest the Huckleberry. I'm going to make this cotton and sage because I'm going to need the fabric. I'm going to need the cotton for the next piece of fabric. The uh, one with the horse hair woven into it. Plant the berries. Just keep pulling up six sage at a time. Uh, desert sage and desert sage. Now plant it all again. I wonder if you could, can you build more on more than just the the, uh, the tile where your base is? I'm, assu I'm assuming, yeah, you can. So if I could just have like another complete tile just for a uh, planted. Oh yeah, they're all planted. Okay. So I could just make another tile that's just for farming, like a massive, however many wide that is. <laughs> That's getting ahead of myself, though. Do I even need to do that is the question. Cook me some... Berry bowls. And just regular steak. some of this stuff we've got a lot of new things uh, glass goes here iron goes here that's it horse hair goes down here feathers animal fat hide and the rest goes in this box so we're gonna go back to corpse creek and we're going to go investigate the mayor's place now. See what he has to offer us. Oh yeah, that's your mama. I'll let you live there. I mean, I could, could I just kill her? Can I open it up and like do the thing? Also, let me go check here first. Maybe I get horse hair from here. Red light's never a good thing. Book. Ranch. Give me horse hair. Thank you. Need one more. Maybe it's over here. Nope. Just some copper. 
some rocks. Cool. Cool beans. Let's just go and break in the back. No, gotta walk in the front door. That's gross. Hey! Hey, who's there still in front of my house? Are you one of them things? Make yourself known right this instance. My name's Ayana. Well, I don't know you, and I know everyone because I'm the mayor of this fine town. Now tell me, why should I trust you, huh? Here to help. Of course. Uh, have you seen those little Of course. Why do you think I locked myself up in here? I don't trust you. Maybe you're one of them things. Maybe one that can talk. How about this? If you can prove that you still have your mind, you can come in and maybe I'll talk to you. Go to the back of the house and try to find the key that I hid in the ground next to the tree. If you do that, you may have... So, even if I were a zombie who's sentient and can talk and stuff, right? Like... Why would you tell me where to get the key to enter your house? And like, you're you're an idiot, mayor. Why are all of the mayors in games generally idiots? Let's see what you got to steal. What is yours that can be mine? Does seem like your mind is still with you, uh, but you don't think I was gonna let you off that easy, now, did you? I just have had to work it for any conversation. And right, so I'm the mayor of this town, you know. The right to speak weed is not come easy. That's why I got this double door. Answer me, this woman. What is the color of the lights at the back of my mansion? They're red. That's correct. Okay, riddle me this then. How can someone ride into Corpse Creek on Friday, stay two days, and ride out on Friday? What? Ride into Corpse Creek on Friday, stay two days, and ride out on Friday. Horse is named Friday. Very smart. All right, last one, I promise. What does it mean if you find a horseshoe? I think it's luck, right? Wrong? Now scram. What? What would the answer to that one be? Do I have to, like, find it written down somewhere? Oh, someone had an unfortunate circumstance occur. So I just have complete access to your house, essentially, huh? Let's try this again. Red. Wait, what? Where is the lights at the back of the mansion? They're red. The horse is named Friday. Find a horseshoe. Is it the horse walking around in his socks? Gotcha. Who can change my mind? All right. So, what am I going to steal from you to make this worth my time? You can't steal anything. Oh man. Hmm. Well, welcome in. Sorry to give you such a hard time. Can't be too careful these days. What can I do for you? Uh, Deputy and Sheriff. You don't say Sheriff Sharp lost soul. He's a lost soul. I'll be damned. He, then he may not be fit to help hold the law anymore, right? I shot the Sheriff, but I didn't shoot the Deputy. Well, you'd better not shoot that poor boy. Have you seen the fear in his eyes? I never thought him fit for the Deputy job, but Sharp got a like in him, I guess. Now he's going to have to take the Sheriff job for a bit until we find a better suit replacement. He seems to not want a sheriff the sheriff job. Sounds about right, that coward, but whatever. It's not like he has a choice. I'll post this new role on Town's board tomorrow. You have a beautiful artifact collection. Oh, do you have one of those fragments here? See that one in the middle? That's one of my latest pieces. No idea what the sign means, but it looks like nice it looks nice on the wall. Okay, yeah, yes, now hands off, okay? Stick me used to collect all these pieces. Do you know anything about the law, why the lost souls are roaming around town now? Are you crazy? How would I know that? 
All I know is I walked through town on a peaceful evening and suddenly the sky cracked open like a hellhole. People died, so I ran to my mansion, locked my doors, and kept everyone out for a couple of nights. Well, almost everyone, I guess. Some of the meteorites hit my house, which made the chandelier tumble down, so I slept on that couch ever since. Who would know more about these things? Your guess is as good as mine. It would be good if Doc Mass was still around, but so you could ask him, but he's out there in the wild performance and science experiments. Oh, I guess I gotta find him. But if you trust faith more than science, perhaps you could ask Noah, the preacher in the church. Oh, the church. If you go to the church, will you do me a favor? I heard a rumor about that preacher. Although this preacher was a stand-up man shaking hands every Sunday morning at the door, he loved his congregation, but he ran an operation, selling more than the word of the Lord. He called it holy water. Now I heard from someone that I heard from someone that there's a door leading underground. Imagine that, a cellar full of holy water. I always wanted to get my hands on a crate of that shine. I heard it burns like hell, but get your mind in heaven. So basically get you drunk. Okay. The mayor asked me to go find out what the, what the preacher Noah was actually paddling moonshine called holy water. He told me to look at the cellar of the church. Okay. Horseshoes. Lots of horseshoes around here. So we have to... Well, I'm going to sell you all this stuff, bird. Hmm. Hold on. Let me open up your thing first. Hmm. Rocks. Trade goods. Miscellaneous. We're going to trade you... Uh, this. Plate. Pocket watches. A tooth. Some bones. A couple of books. What else? I'm going to say a skull. And that's it for me. Thank you for your, uh, for, for buying your stuff off me. All right, got some water. All right, so I need to go back home. And I think there's two pieces I have to research. Snow Pine Forest and then Corpse Creek Graveyard. So I have the bronze for this. I don't have the bronze for this. I have to make it. So I have my copper and my tin. I could go and farm some more tin because... Yes. So I have it all evened. Evened, stevened. Plus this will give me the... Uh, gout into the next tile or two. There we go. I didn't look to see what the other tile needed. I do like that it's two hits and this thing goes away. Just one? That's not cool, man. So it was the snow pine forest, though. So that's to the south east of my current location, southwest of my current map orientation. I don't think there's an actual north on this map. That should be more than enough tin to accommodate the copper I have. After this, we're going to go into that trading... We're going to go to the trading post one. Uh, like this. Go 
cryptography table. Open this up. Oh, this one we just placed down? Hmm. We're working on this right now, though. We're going to put the church. Church should have been by the graveyard, to be honest. But uh, that's, that's on me. Put it behind... Oh, look at that. Corpsicles. Well, if we just chop down some wood and some fiber. This should net us a uh, tile. Yeah, and then we'll place this guy. Oh, here. All these outlaws like to chill together, don't they? I guess we'll do this. So let's start putting stuff away. Two. Can we make the armor? Oh, I need luxury fabric, so I just need three cotton, one ink. I need three inks, nine cotton. So we need 12 huckleberries. It's four, five, six. Let's go to sleep. <sighs> Let's eat. Very Berry, berry, only two berries, okay. That's fine. Water, I did replant the carrots, right? Yes, okay, good. So we're gonna go to... Hmm. I don't wanna take care of these, uh... Not so nice people. Along the way, collect a lot of berries. That's honestly the easy, easiest way to collect berries at this point. Just chop and go. Uh, cool. Let's put one of... It's gotta be forest. some skin. I need me some meat. Leave the antlers, though. Do, 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 do. the skin and the other thing now. I don't even know what I need hard antler for.
This bothers me. Bring it here, buddy. Thank you. So this should be coming up after this. Oh, you don't really. I thought you didn't really see the iron on the on the half and half. So I better make it count. Unless we go composite bow. So four shots with the bow. I'll loot the body. Sanity? Why? Why is it? It's a body. It's not like it's. I have to go rummaging through their insides because it's like. Corpse. Well, it's technically is a corpse, but really is no difference between this and the uh, Does it eat up more sanity because it's a it's a person and not the uh lost souls? Why do you miss all the time? I took three that time. Nice. Search the dog's pile. Get the loot. The merchandise. All right, so that quest is complete. Wait a second. I see. Is that? Oh, I thought it was a tree with berries in it. It was just the way that they, uh, the map was angled, it looked like it was growing from the tree. Okay, so we have the church put down. Now we have to go investigate it for its moonshine operation. over there. Let's put just a straight up planes there. Why can't I put the planes here? It's weird that it was showing that I couldn't. Run! Double run! I need just one more horse hair and I can make the, uh, the new and improved armor. There's also the gunslinger hat, and then whatever, uh, reputation this gives me, I think, pushes me over to the next reward tier. I don't know. I gotta make more bullets though, I know that for a fact. I think I put gunpowder in here. Let's put two, I can make them by hand.
Uh, anything that we want to make here? Yeah. Uh, give me all of my iron. I need two per bar. I'm like, why can't I just do that? Okay, there we go. Get all this iron for whatever purpose. Let's go back down here to this. So for the next tier of this, we need three regular leather and three luxury fabric. Luxury fabric. So one, two, three. Uh, luxury fabric. I need the cotton. Right? And horsehair and ink. Feathers. I need three feathers. Preparing for tomorrow. Got my three inks. Put this copper away. Put the copper, the tin, iron. Hides. Branches. I need to go get cotton. You would think when you put fertilizer down, maybe you yield more. Unless there's a thing within um, the base, like the perks, that I just didn't notice that was for uh, farming. Quite possible that I missed it completely. Wouldn't put that above. Wouldn't put that past me. Do new 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 new. Alright, so we can make two of you. So we have luxury fabric, we have leather. Trash this guy then. We don't need these. I don't think we need hard antlers anymore, period. What are they worth? Four. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna sell them. Okay, I figured out the purpose of these antlers. They're gonna make me rich. So we have that. We have the. Why do I? I have one left. I'm like, why do we only have one? Uh, right. I have to go to. Harvest the carrot. Sow the carrot. Let me go check the perks and see if there's anything about garden plots. Because if I can get more than what I'm getting, I, I want that. Fire making this, this. Deeper wells. Extra container of water each day. Let's do that. Leather, carpentry, scouting is faster. Now let's do that. Ah, better soil. Crops grow, fa crops grow faster. That's fine. Yep, we're good with that. Horse, take me to the dead, the dead creek. Okay, we need to go to the church. I didn't eat food at all. Drink no waters. Just as I'm about to do it. All 
All right, let's uh, take these guys down. One down. Get wrecked. I bet you if I walk over here, you're going to come alive. Yup. Hey. Oh. There we go. Two legs and an arm. Could this be Preacher Noah? Uh. Uh-oh. He's not going to be needing this no more. Build a ladder. What? That's a dirty trick. Any horse here out here? Bones and water. Uh, I don't see any coils of horsehair or wire. All right, so we got to go back home. This is preposterous. Rocks. I like rocks. Oh yeah, come here, return to the board. Reputation increased. Now I get some bounty on our boots. Do I even have to build that other stuff now? Protection 5, range damage 5, add damage versus most wanted enemies. Oh. We wear that now. Look at my boots. They mean I am dangerous. Should probably take another one. Skirp. Yeah, let's keep taking these three stars. Oh, it goes beyond that. Okay. Oh. Kill Abigail Blackwood. They really like hanging out at this lake. I gotta go here. Do, 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 do. How many more carrots do I have? Got three. Yeah, let's go to Desert Merchant. Yeah. I want to see what awaits me at my mine. My carefully crafted mine. Probably should have went to Basil's farm because it's right there. Not cool, bro. So many enemies. This is the end now, right? How does this whole thing work? Closed? Maybe I gotta go to the front? Like where it all started? I don't know. Good news is, it's right here. Hey there, miss. I can help you. How do the mines work? Yeah, we pay us well enough. We just love ourselves some baked goods with winter berries. Keep a collection sample of the ores we can put produce on this table. After we've mined the ores, we send out a cart with the goods. 
the ores are delivered to a collection at the end of the tracks. The more tracks between the dig site and the collection site, the bigger the mine, the more ores it can produce per cart. Pick them up and be on your way. Yeah, so why didn't I see anything there? Or is it in this? Madam, where's your ores? You paid that man a winterberry tart. Are they still not done digging out your mine? No, they're done. What? Do you have to like wait with them? Or is it only at a certain time of the day that I come here and get it? I don't know. I'm going to leave it be. Maybe it was a bug. Never stops moving. All these mints. Here's a carrot. There's a carrot. Everywhere is carrots. Where right, we go back home? Gotta get plank. Six planks. How many carrots are on my person? It's three. We can do this real quick, like. We're going back to the creek. We done killed everybody that was going to give us the trouble. Never mind, you're your own trouble. I built six beams. <laughs> Dude, you gotta learn how to read when you're like in a rush. Try this again. Sticks planks. The odds that it's going to work in our favor, probably zero. Watch, now I have no carrots. Yep. You had enough for what you were going to do initially if you built it properly. <gasps> Go, 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 go. What the heck? What? Hello, Ayana. I'm happy to see you here. The others have told me about you and the journey you are enduring. When I touched the meteorite, the world turned black. Do you know what happened? Could you speak more about what you touched? What color did it have? It's black and green. And this black and green came from the sky, you say? That gives thought to the matter and matter to thought. When you touched it, do you think you fainted, fell asleep, or maybe even have died? Died. Oh, you poor thing, naive as always. Let me assure you, your body is lying on the floor. You are quite fine. Now that you're here, do you have anything to ask of me? Can you tell me more about the meteorites that came from the sky? These things don't move by themselves. They get taken or get, they get thrown. Whoever has a hand in this is in anguish or is throwing a fit. I told the same man before. I told this to the same man before you. I told the same to the man before you. Not long ago, he stood before me like you are now, just a foot taller and with a different expression on his face. The expression? What'd you say? He's both torn and relieved, happy and sad, broken and healed, and there may have been a pinch of wonder in his eyes, but he could have just been tired. The man told me he has the same origins like me, to visit, converse, and what a conversation we had. Some things are openly said and some things are private. If you want to hear what was said, I shall not help you. You must seek him out yourself. Where can I find him? He lives in a village not far from where your body lies. His nights 
are spent above ground, but his bed lies below. While you seek him out, take this fragment with you. It may not look like anything on its own, but it will in due time. Good luck on your journey, Ayana, and may we see each other again in this place or the next. Something. Destroy the meteorite. Uh, sh it should be destroyed, but when I touch it with my hand, I fainted. Maybe this time I should use a weapon. Turns out when someone else, someone else has been visiting the worlds beyond, uh, Odina said it was a man that came from a village in the canyons. So it sounded. I should try to find him and hear what he knows. What's this over here? Catacomb door key? Time to lose some sanity. I was thinking maybe it'd be in a in a tomb. Smash. Smash. Do I have to build out the catacombs also? Because that would be kind of cool. Antler. Bones. Rare key that I never seem to have. It's a couple of scrolls with inscriptions. Which one should I try to pull out? John. What? Loud rumble. Text is mostly faded, but as they part, the last part says, and then he turned water into shine. Well, this man's has been busy. Pray to moonshine. It's definitely not holy water. I just took a gamble on the inscriptions. Or the, the scripture, whatever that is. So I need a catacomb door key. I bet you this is what I get for telling the mayor uh, what this guy's operation was. Oh wait, it's daytime? Did I sleep? I went through the... Oh no. Quickly to the mayor. Yeah, we spent uh, the day underground. Water. Stuck on the hitching post. Hmm. Hey, mayor. Here's your moonshine. I already th thought I already heard the gentle ringing of uh, bottles full of shine. Much obliged. Mesh taste it. Take this for your troubles. Gold ingots. I can make gold ring. Seem to have a large art collection. It took me a life to, to collect those pieces. It's estimated, it's estimated to be of, well, inestimable value. And that statement came from a professional appraiser, if I may add. Okay, so I'm just gonna find a way in here at nighttime and uh, alleviate your uh, collection. So I have to destroy... Wait, I have to destroy the meteorite piece? So village in the canyon. So that's these guys, right? Avoleke village. I want to go back down there for a second, though, and see if... Using, like, an axe or a pickaxe would destroy the meteorite... Then I gotta find a carrot and go home. Oh, of course. You have the key on you. Yup. So the meteorite's broken now? Oh man, I, I want to go in here and see what's happening. Oh, what the crap! You're a big guy, ain't you? Ooh, 
What the heck? I'll lose some sanity over this one. It's fine. Just bones for taking down that big guy. Just get some bones. Gold or... Okay. Okay. What's over here, I wonder? Oh, this was, this was the area. I'm like, why is it all foggy and cool looking now? Because you unleashed, you destroyed the, uh, the meteorite. She took some time to despawn, I guess. All right. Now we gotta go home. I gotta find me a carrot. I don't have any carrots, right? Yeah, no, nothing. I'll uh, eat this and drink that. But the best way home is... There's no carrots in sight, dude. Alright, so I guess we're going to go down here to Aboleke Village real quick. Or, you know, we got to get out of here. The time is nigh. For this episode to end. Uh, also going to start getting to be nighttime, I think. I'm pretty sure that this is where they meant to go, but. I also can't run too much because my, my, uh, energy will come down to the merchants. Good way to go. Ah, carrot. Good. Quickly, merchant, I wish to go home. Horse, saddle horse, my own hitching post. Alright, so now, there was something about a gold ring too. Two ingots, I only have one. Oh. I need two gold ore, of course. Roof shingles, one clay, one coal. What does one do with roof shingles? Is that part of this? Ah. Yes, this thing. Okay, so that's what that is. I mean, I probably could have done that other piece, but I am I am exhausted and need to go to sleep. But it doesn't look like it's going to happen anytime soon. So let's do this. I guess we're going to Avalekia Village. I thought it was later in the eve. Later in the day. Right here. Don't run. Because then you're not going to be able to run back with all of those guys around you. Enter! At this place. So I don't have any new tiles, right? Yeah, no. Enter! Yep, you. Hmm. Baby. me. Hi and welcome. It's good to see you again. Ever talk to a deceased elder? It's in interesting you ask that. We have indeed... We indeed have our ways in talking to people in the beyond. Special tea or smoke are the most common used ways, but there are others as well. But why do you ask? The meteorite. I touched a black and green meteorite and fainted. Then I spoke to a deceased elder. Oh, really? That's very interesting. I have not experienced such effects through touching an object, but times are very strange at the moment. When you speak to those beyond, I assume they guide you as well. Who have you talked to lately? Dakota. is a kind woman and a friend to all, but her answers are shrouded in mystery and very personal to me. I'd rather not discuss if you don't mind. Odina. Spoken with Odina. You've spoken to Odina as well. I imagine you discuss the current events that are happening. 
Times are dark and weary, and none the less because of the settlers. The mountains from which she sees far and wide are now swarming with settlers, blowing holes in rock and earth to lay down their metal tracks. Yes, me, the strains bring nothing but problems. I'm too old to act now, and the world spins harder than I can walk. You, on the other hand, seem full of spirit and will. If you want, you can find the train station in Corpse Creek and follow the tracks from there. Perhaps you can make sense of all this madness. So, that's the thing. Maybe to make sense of what's going on, Baby has told me to follow the tracks that start at this train station in Corpse Creek. I hope following these tracks makes me wiser. I can't talk to Baby anymore. Smash. Take that. Alright, now we have to go home because we are about to pass out. I'm pretty certain of it. Corpse Creek train station. Okay, so that's probably like the end game of this. Please don't hurt me. I'm just a weary traveler trying to get home. Horse. Pa -ha -da -da -da. My own hitching post. Let it become nighttime. I would like it to become the nighttime, please. Door for everything. Uh. Clay? What have Clay here for? Clay goes here. Planks. Uh. Store, store, store. Oh yeah, I was gonna sell those things. Trash that. And then, no place to store any of this extra stuff. So I'm gonna just take some of these plant fibers. Put the shingles in here. Trash that. Plant carrots. Why is it taking... Maybe when I was in there underneath the church, it like did something weird with the time. Because we should have definitely had a reset already. I can't change... I can't go to sleep until it becomes that light, until it's nighttime. Harvest. Stow. Harvest and sow. Alright, well, well, there it goes. Alright, so... Get some water. Let's just do this, I guess. I could start planting a little bit of winter berries, right? Since I will need them more often than I need, I think, the sage at this point. For those tarts. Could probably also make another batch of uh, those guys, right? Let's see. What do we need for those? We need... Two clay, two beams, four planks. That should be enough of that. And then...
Yeah. That's another four of those. So now it's squared off. Then we have... Now what can we put in here? I guess when the winterberry grows, we'll do that. I can make it like this, just go lengthwise there, or up to here, another three, and that'll be it. How much clay do I have? Nine. Uh, that's enough, but it's nighttime. I am exhausted. Time to go to sleep. And with this, rest finally. We call it for this episode of Let's Play Above Snakes. Uh, if you liked the video, drop a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to the channel. And ring the notification bell to get alerted when I post more content and go live here on YouTube. Seems that my game is frozen. There we go. Uh, leave comments, share the video, share the channel. Those are the best ways to support what I'm doing and I really do appreciate it. But until next time, take care, have a good one, and I'll see you soon.